As if 2020 wasn't already full of surprises, scientists have now found that an asteroid is heading towards Earth, and it will make a close approach to Earth. There's no reason to worry, NASA says this space rock poses no risk to our planet. Luckily, the asteroid known as 2018, VP1, only has a diameter of about 6.5 feet. It has been confirmed that it will pass near our planet on November 2, one day prior to the presidential election, which is scheduled for November 3. The asteroid was first discovered in 2018 at the Palomar Observatory in California. NASA believes there are three potential impacts based on 21 observations spanning 12.9 days, and fortunately the chance of a direct impact is less than 1%, or more specifically, it only has a 0.41% chance of striking our planet. Even if it crashes into Earth, it will be broken up in the Earth's atmosphere and turn into an amazing fireball as numerous small asteroids do each year. Either way, this space rock wouldn't have any deep impact, and it won't lead to any apocalyptic scenes as shown in Hollywood movies. In a year where unpredictable disasters have seemingly become routine, NASA is working hard to calm fears of a potential collision. Before we continue further, be sure to subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss any of our weekly videos. So researchers at NASA are not considering this asteroid as a potentially hazardous object. A potentially hazardous object is a near-Earth asteroid with an orbit that can make close approaches to Earth and can be large enough to cause significant damage in case if it hits Earth. This year's flyby will be the asteroid's first close approach to Earth since it was discovered in 2018. But while scientists call the event a close approach, the asteroid will remain quite far away from Earth, more than 400,000 kilometers away. That's about the same distance at which the Moon orbits Earth. Coincidentally, another asteroid will make a close approach on November 3. That asteroid is named 2020, HF4, and is somewhat larger at 26 to 60 feet in diameter. This asteroid will remain much farther away, about 16 times the distance of the Moon. A car-sized asteroid recently flew past Earth last weekend, closer than any known asteroid has ever come without crashing into the planet. It was the closest known non-impacting asteroid known to mankind. The tiny space rock was called 2020 QG, and it passed about 2,950 kilometers above Earth's surface. That asteroid went peacefully on its way, and even if it would have hit Earth, it would have burned up in the Earth's atmosphere. Astronomers at the Palomar Observatory didn't even knew that the asteroid was flying by the planet until it had already passed. While the chances of a major asteroid hitting Earth are small, NASA believes there is a 1 in 300,000 chance every year that a space rock which could cause regional damage will hit Earth. If we want to avoid going the way of the dinosaurs, which were wiped out by a huge asteroid 65 million years ago, then we need to deflect a killer asteroid someday, fortunately, we know how to do it. We have the capability to protect the Earth from asteroid impacts. We are now able to very slightly and subtly reshape the solar system in order to enhance human survival. Protecting Earth from incoming asteroids will be a huge job. There are thought to be only two ways of deflecting an asteroid. If researchers detect a potentially dangerous space rock very far away, then the best option would be to send a robotic probe out to ride along with it. The spacecraft's modest gravity would exert a tug on the asteroid as the two cruise through space together. Over months or years, this gravity tractor method would pull the asteroid into a different orbit. You can get a very precise change in the orbit for the final part of the deflection using a technology of this kind. Humanity has already demonstrated how to pull off such a mission. Multiple probes have met up with faraway asteroids in deep space, including NASA's Dawn spacecraft, which is currently orbiting the huge asteroid called Vesta. The second option is a kind of an asteroid strike. We can use a spacecraft to send a heavy object and then smash it into the asteroid. The asteroid will then hopefully be pushed off its trajectory and miss Earth. We know how to do this. In 2005, NASA sent an impactor barreling into the comet Temple 1 to determine the composition of the comet. However, for the second option to be any practical use, we would have to know the mass, momentum, trajectory, and surface composition of the asteroid. 
Otherwise, any attempt at deflecting an asteroid would be less than 99% certain to succeed. And when you're talking a planet killer, that's important. A joint European Space Agency and NASA mission will test such a technology in the next few years, you can watch our video on it.